In the previous videos, we discussed how to remove constant, annoying noise from your recordings using Reaper's Reaffer and Wave's Clarity VX. Both provided great results. Both worked quickly and were easy to use. But what if you wanted more options? What if you wanted more control? Isotopes RX9 is an unbelievably powerful suite of tools that comes with many exciting modules used to remove hum, mouth clicks, guitar squeaks. You can even match the room tone from one environment and replace it with another. But those are features I'll discuss in an upcoming series. Instead, today, we will be talking about two of the more commonly used tools to deal strictly with room noise in RX. Voice denoise and spectral denoise. Let's take a look to see how it's done. Welcome back. Before we begin, I want to say thanks for tuning in. I love creating content, and if anyone finds my videos useful, if you learned something new you didn't think you could use before, it's the best I can hope for. So thank you. We had the same noisy audio as before. Let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Prologue. It was spring, and they were running, he remembers. Running for their lives. At least, that's how the dream always seemed to start. Since we're going to be covering Isotope RX in this video, or rather, two of its modules, and because RX comes in multiple versions, elements, standard, advanced, I'm going to show you how to use the plugins directly in Reaper first, for those who own the Elements suite. And then, I will show you how to use the same modules in the standalone RX editor, for those with standard and above. First up, we're going to be tackling Voice Denoise. By default, you have adaptive mode checked off. This will follow along with the audio and try to make intelligent decisions based on what it thinks the audio needs. You also have the reduction amount slider and threshold slider on the right. Let's hear how it sounds. Prologue. It was spring and they were running here. You can see that the noise profile moves at least or adapts the dream always just like the name says every single night matthew road has this dream it is the same one he has had since he was a teen like with reifer rx can learn a noise profile as well all you have to do is uncheck the adaptive mode button make your timeline selection click loop Click the Learn button, and let's hear how it sounds. Prologue It was spring, and they were running, he remembers. Running for their lives. At least, that's how the dream always seemed to start. Every single night, Matthew Road has this dream. It is the same one he has had since he was a teenager, and if asked, which he almost always was, would insist it really happened the way he saw it when his eyes were closed. This is Spectral Denoise. It has the same adaptive mode as Voice Denoise, and the same reduction slider and threshold slider as Voice Denoise. Let's hear it in adaptive mode. Prologue. It was spring, and they were running, he remembers. You'll notice, though, that when I push up the reduction amount, some artifacts are heard, so you need to be careful to not overdo it. It is the same one he has had since he was a teenager, and if asked, which he almost always was, would insist. And like with voice denoise, spectral denoise can learn its own profile. Let's try it out.
Prologue It was spring, and they were running, he remembers, running for their lives. At least, that's how the dream always seemed to start. In my opinion, learning a noise profile in either voice-to-noise or spectral-to-noise usually gets better results than the adaptive mode. Your mileage may vary. His breathing, slow and steady, the world at night, unaware of what terrible visions rest inside. And let's do a quick before and after. Prologue It was spring, and they were running, he remembers, running for their lives. At least, that's how the dream always seemed to start. Every single night, Matthew Rode has this dream. It is the same one he has had since he was a teenager, and if asked, which he almost always was, would insist it really happened the way he saw it when his eyes were closed, his breathing slow and steady. Now, I'm going to show you how to open up RX in standalone mode, directly from Reaper. If you've watched my previous videos on setting up an external editor, this shouldn't be a surprise to you. Here's what the file looks like in RX. This is called a spectrogram. You'll notice on the right side, we have the module chain with all the different tools. On the bottom, we have the meter, which shows our level. Then we have playback functions on the left-hand side. Let's hear it. Prologue. It was spring, and they were running, he remembers. It sounds the same. What we're going to do first is use voice denoise. So what we have to do, just like before, is we select our area of noise. Going to select voice to noise over here on the right. Okay, so we have voice to noise up. Let's learn our profile. Okay, it caught the profile. Uh, I'm going to have reduction. Let's drag it down. I don't want too much at first. Let's hear how that sounds. I'm going to drag an area just to preview it. Prologue. It was spring, and they were running, he remembers. Okay, that sounds pretty good. But if you watch here on the meter, when I hit preview, it jumped to negative 57 originally, and then hovered around negative 60. That's still a little too high. If you're doing, say, an audiobook, negative 60 would be the highest amount of room noise that you can have. So you want to lower that a little bit more. So what we can do... Just click out of it, hit render. If we do another pass, let's do, I don't know, eight. Let's see how that goes. Prologue. It was spring and they were running, he remembers, running for their lives. That sounds good. And it's around negative 70, so that's well within the range for an audiobook. Now, let's say you made a mistake and you wanted to go back. Down here in the bottom right hand corner is your history, and it has every step you've done since you've started. When you first uploaded your file, it's labeled as initial state. So if you click on that, it'll bring it back to how it was when you first uploaded the file. At least. That's how the dream always seemed to start. And if you want to go back to the changes that you've already made, just click again, and you're back. Prologue. It was spring, and they were running, he remembers. Running for their lives. Let's go back to initial state and check out spectral denoise. Okay, before I start with spectral denoise, I just want to let you know, I do know that there are all the other tools over here on the right hand side, and a lot of you are probably saying, how come you haven't done mouth to click? How come you haven't done mouth to click? Because that's one of the first things you normally do. Don't worry, 
I told you before, that's going to be in another series. I'm going to cover as much as I can, as much as I know about Isotope. Right now, we're just doing constant background noise. Okay, so with spectral denoise, we're going to do the same thing. Make a time selection, learn the profile. Now what I like to do is like to click output noise only. This will make it so what we're hearing when we preview is just what we're going to be removing. That way, when we play over some voice, we want to make sure we don't hear any voice in there. Or else that means we might be taking out too much. Let's preview it. Okay, we're going to uncheck output noise. Click render. Let's see where we are. Prologue. It was spring, and they were running, he remembers. Okay, so that, if we look at this again, I'm just going to loop it. We're well below negative 70. We are at negative 85, negative 80-ish. And it was spring, and they were running, he remembers. We don't hear any artifacts in the voice. Now, let's get it back into Reaper. And you'll see we have two takes. The first is the original, with the noise. Prologue. And the second is our processed version. Prologue. It was spring. Now, all you need to do is replace the take with Alt Shift T. Prologue. It was spring, and they were running, he remembers. And there you have it. That's how to use RX in standalone mode for spectral and voice denoise. Like I said, I'm currently working on a series of videos specifically dedicated to Isotope. I'll cover each module individually. Until next time, thanks again for tuning in.